What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from MachineHunter.com. And guess what, Jeff? Today we are doing five facts in the video game Scrim. Five facts in Skyrim. In Skyrim. Now, Jack, it's interesting that I am doing this uh, video with you as you have never played one second of Skyrim. I have never played one second of Skyrim. I've can watched I you, many seconds be played. Can, did you play Oblivion or I Morrowind? Did play, I, play, I played Oblivion. I think, okay. I think everyone's on Xbox 360 played Oblivion. At you some are point. familiar with uh, Tamriel and uh, Nern and the whole deal. Yes? Question mark? <laughs> All right, you, do you want me to run it down for you real fast? Yeah, yeah, please All right, do. so essentially in Skyrim, which is like a continent uh, in, uh, in I guess, the... In uh, no, it's a province. Is it a, a province in Skyrim? Fuck. Is it, is it, is it's it like, complicated. Is it like, is it like Canada? No, the, all right, I'm going to go backwards. Okay. The planet is Nern. Okay. Or Nern, Nern. or however you want to say it. And uh, all the other planets make fun of Nern because it's a stupid name. <laughs> then there's a continent called Tamriel, okay. right? And then if you and then Skyrim is a province in that. This is as complicated as trying to understand the UK. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then um, so in this one, you're in Skyrim and you are trying to kill a giant dragon dude yeah, who's yeah. supposed to destroy the world. Oh, and okay. uh, it's pretty typical. Um, you know, fucking knight and dragon fair, pretty fantasy fair, as it were, but yeah. a fantastic game. No, no, it's a beautiful game, and I, I beautiful. Want, like I know there's so much stuff you can do, and I know like Michael has children now somehow. Yeah, which, that's terrible, that, right? That, that like, is that is very. There was a mix up at the adoption agency, and uh, due to some <laughs> due to some DLC, Michael has been allowed to be in charge of children, which is very very scary. Yeah, that's terrifying. But hey, we have we have five facts, Jeff. Okay. We were we were delivered five facts, and we should go over them to in, like entertain the people. Yes. I'm going to read the first one. How about that? All right, you okay. go for it. Most, if not all, of the musical pieces presented in Skyrim are, are refurbished versions of the music in The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Both were composed by Jeremy Sewell. Sewell? I don't know how you say Sheep. Name. That's kind of cool. Is it cool, or, well, or, no. they, or were they cutting are they cutting costs? Well, it's like if, if a, 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 like a low budget game like Skyrim, you can't afford a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> you got to recycle shit. Well, no, it's like it's like an homage <laughs> as opposed it's to recycling. O, it was an homage to saving money. <laughs> 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 like, well, I could do a whole new score, but it's going to cost. And they're like, it's, I think it's going to cost. It's going to cost a re-recording fee. There you sir. go. Absolutely. No, that's pretty awesome, actually. I I, I I I didn't play Oblivion. I played Morrowind. Yeah. And I remember loving the music in Morrowind. And not like I want to marry it, but like you know, it was good. It was good. Atmospheric music. Well, it's always cool to hear like those same, the same kind of themes. You get that stuff. instant familiarity. Yeah, exactly. And that's, it's like, oh, yeah. I remember this. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, number two. The guards will often say, "Let me guess, somebody stole your sweet roll." To oh, the player. they do do say that. The a lot. stolen sweet roll has been a running gag throughout the Bethesda Softworks game since Morrowind. So that's another running gag in the the Morrowind series. I like the running or gags. Morrowind, however you want to say. It. Dude, somebody, somebody uh, must hate fucking what was it, sweet bread. <laughs> sweet rolls, sweet rolls. I don't know, or maybe they really like sweet rolls. Maybe, maybe there's a problem back at the studio where like somebody was always making sweet rolls on a Saturday morning when they're mad for having to come in, and <laughs> hit a milestone, or, and or, so they make like a tray of them, and then he goes to the bathroom and there's fucking gone, and he's like, Gary, <laughs> where's my sweet rolls? Oh, where's my sweet rolls? And they're like, <laughs> all right, in the city of Riften, there's a family called the Black Briar. Uh, I remember that. Given Joan Allen's performance in, uh, performance in the game, the family's name is a clear reference to the movie The Born Ultimatum, where Alan starred as Pam Landy, a chief officer at this, of the CIA, who was kept in the dark about a program called Black Briar. That's deep, dude. That is deep. That's some fucking Inception type shit. That's one shit. of those, like, you would think it's a coincidence, but it's on paper, so it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got a bullet point next to it, so yeah, it can't so, be. Someone clearly wrote this down. Man, all right, uh, let's go on number four. I, I'll let you pronounce that name. Hi, Jeff. Rothgar. <laughs> Hi, Rothgar. Yeah, is that the is that Rothgar? Like, is he related to Tim Rothgar? <laughs> yes, he is. They're Mr. cousins. Mister uh, Mister White or whoever, yes. Mister Orange. Wait, which one was Mr. Tim He was Mister Mister Pink. Pink? Well, Pink. No, Pink was Pink Steve was Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. and then he was uh, Mister White was uh, Michael Madsen. Yes, Mister Brown. Was he Mr. Brown? I think he was no. Mr. Orange. I think he was. I think you're right. He's Mr. Orange. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tim Ro Tim Roth is possibly named after the sixth century Danish king. Bois. <laughs> Rogar. Rogar, who sounds like Mogar, sounds but like Mogar. was not as successful or famous as Mogar. No. The name has appeared in a few Anglo-Saxon epics, including Beowulf, one of the names of King... What? Hoga? King Rogar. Rogar was also known as Rogar was Ro. Ro in Skyrim is one of the second words you learn in the Dragon Shout, an unrelenting force acquired by one of the monks at Rogar. Hi, Rogar. I you have no sound, idea what it is read. You sound... As confident as a 10th grader reading a book report to the class right now. <laughs> that was fantastic. If you would have been like, I, I, this is my impression of you. The name appeared in a few a Anglo-Saxon epic, epics, including Beowulf. I hope, okay, so so Franco is cutting this thing. I hope he <laughs> puts King 
Progar or whatever on like this. Did you, uh, there's a there's a letter there that's not Rogar. English. It's it's a it's an icon. It's a guy. It's a it's a guy holding his hand above his head. There are some characters that I do not recognize. Exactly. Uh, I'm supposed to pronounce that. Is uh, can I ask you a question? What's that? Did you ever read Beowulf? I did read Beowulf. Did you ever read Grendel? Uh, that was no fantastic. No. Book. You should check it out if you get a chance. I know. Well, given maybe you should practice on easier. My daughter has these things called like the readers, and they have a number like levels one through five. Yeah. And as you learn to read, you advance in the levels. If you want, I can slip you some threes. That'd be great. Yeah. And then uh, help, help when you increase. get through, when you get up to maybe f like step six, maybe a six could be could be Grendel for that. Okay. All right. Let's let's finish this up. How about number five? Max von Sydow and Christopher Plummer, the voice actors of Esbern and uh, what is that? Arngear. Arngear, respectively, were both nominated for best supporting actor in 2012. Plummer came out as the award winner. Christopher yeah. Plummer. He's He's an awesome actor. Plumber man. jammed in his fucking face. He's like, take that side out. Go cry now. See, he rhymed. That's acting. He won that for, I believe, the beginners, actually, the uh, Ewan McGregor movie. Yeah. Or was it was it was it for that or was it for um uh the the girl with the dragon tattoo? Uh, it was not the girl with the dragon tattoo. Okay, so it must have I think it was the beginners yeah. when he played an old gay dude that came out after his dude, wife. Dude, there was some nudity in uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. There though. was a lot. What's that girl's name? Uh Shit. She was also in Social Network. I want to marry her. Yeah, she's beautiful. Secretly, because my current wife would be weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be awkward. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe, maybe can you uh, can you have multiple wives on Nern? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like, know. Maybe I can work something out. See, we tied this into the girl with the dragon tattoo for Skyrim that you're killing the dragon. Or yeah. The dragon maybe over. the dragon tattoo is a, is is Alduin. Yeah. There you go. The dragon god. Boom. That's it. All right. That's five facts. We'll be back next week with more.